Today on Midweek Masterpiece, we will be creating a watercolor gem painting. Stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly what you need and walk you step by step. Let's get creating. <music> My name is Allison and I'm the program director of Arts for Life at Duke Children's Hospital. Welcome to our virtual studio where we believe that art is for everyone. Today on Midweek Masterpiece, we will be making watercolor gems. Have you ever seen a gemstone in real life before? What color was it? I'll show you how you can make your very own gem by using some simple art materials. Here are the materials that you'll need today. You'll need uh, watercolor or thick paper if you're using watercolor paints. If you don't have watercolors, you can use any kind of paper that you have. We'll also want to use a pencil and a ruler and a black permanent marker. And I also have watercolor paints as well as paint brushes. And you'll need a cup of water and a paper towel if you're using watercolors. If you don't have watercolors, you can use any kind of coloring material to color in the sections of your gym. So you could use crayons, colored pencils, markers, really whatever you have around. Now I'm going to adjust the camera so I can show you how to start your picture. Okay, so I have my watercolor paper. I have some watercolor paints. I have some paintbrushes and I have them ready, but first we're gonna draw our gemstone. Now, normally I would use a pencil in case I need to erase any lines, but so y'all can see my paper better, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my permanent black marker, just so you can see my lines. But normally I would use pencil and then trace over my pencil lines with my black permanent marker. So, what I'm going to do is make a dot in the middle, kind of at the bottom of my paper. And that's gonna be my starting point for the end of the gym. Now I'm gonna take my ruler, and if you don't have a ruler, you could use the edge of another sheet of paper. That'll work just fine. And I am going to line it up to a point over here that I want one of the edges of my gym to be. So I'm just gonna choose a point right here and I'm gonna connect it to that dot. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side now. So I will use my ruler, kind of map out where I want my next line to go and then it right there. Oh, and you see sometimes the marker doesn't touch all the way, so I'm just going to go over it one more time. There we go. Now, the top of the gym can be a bunch of different things. So, you could do symmetrical on each side and do a line here, and then one kind of across, and then one connecting to there or it can have many different edges. But for this one, I think I'm gonna do kind of symmetrical. So I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna make a line kind of diagonal from this one and draw that point. And then I'm gonna take this side and do something similar. It might be a little shorter. All right, and then from there, I'm gonna connect this point with this point to make the top. All right, so we've got the basic outside shape of our gemstone. So now we're going to fill up the inside with different lines, all straight lines using our ruler or our sheet of paper and we're gonna make different geometric shapes. So they can be triangles, trapezoids, anything that are several lines connected to make a shape, a geometric shape. So I'm going to 
start here, draw a line there, and then I'm just gonna start connecting the different lines to make complete shapes. And then from there, I can do a longer triangle this way. They don't have to be at each end point. So I'm gonna make a triangle like this. And again, I'm using this black permanent marker right now just so you can see the lines that I'm drawing, but you could most certainly start with a pencil. That way it's easier if you make um, any mistakes or lines that you need to erase. I'm just adding line after line. Just moving my paper around. There's no real rhyme or reason. Just putting lines wherever I see fit. So I think we have enough lines. You could continue to add lines to make different parts of your gemstone smaller, but I like them kind of bigger. That way it's easier for me to paint inside the lines. So now we are going to use our watercolors. And here's the part where if you don't have watercolors, you could use your crayons, color pencils, markers, and you would color in each section. But I'm going to use my watercolors to color it in. And maybe this is a new gem that has been discovered in a faraway mine. So what colors would it be? Maybe it's the colors of your birthstone. If anyone knows the colors of their birthstone, you could use different colors for each shape inside or you could just do three or four colors and do a pattern and kind of alternate. I think that I'm gonna use some jewel tone colors. So jewel tone colors are rich color tones that resemble well-known gemstones. So can you think of any gemstones that you know the name of? So sapphire is a well-known gemstone and it is a rich blue color. So I am going to start by using this rich blue color. Now I'm dipping my paintbrush in the watercolor, or excuse me, I'm dipping my paintbrush in the water cup, and then I'm dipping it in my watercolor. And that is a painting method called wet on dry. So our paper is dry, and I am using water to add to the paint to apply to our dry paper. I'm just going to finish painting this one blue and then I'll move on to another shape and another color. So when I'm done with my blue right here, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in my water. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit on my paper towel to get off any excess paint pigment so we don't mix colors inside the palette and make it messy. So next, I think I'm gonna choose, it's kind of like purplish red. Now amethyst is a, another gemstone. It's more of a purple color. This one has a little bit more pink tone to it, but it's really bright and vibrant. I think it'll look nice on our gem. What colors did you choose to paint in or color inside of your gym? So I'll just finish this one. And then I can pick another one. 
so I think that I am going to choose kind of like this bluish green teal color. Oh yeah, that looks nice next to our other colors. And I still have a good amount of pigment or paint on this brush. I'm just gonna dip it in the water. Kind of spread it around a little bit. I really like these three colors together. I think they go really nicely. Just adding a little bit more paint as we continue. All right, so now that I've painted in three of the shapes, I have several more to go, but you would just follow the same process until every single shape was colored or painted. Now, if you want to take this project one step further, if after you were done coloring in each section, if you had some glitter, you could most certainly add some glitter to make your gemstone really sparkle and shine. But you could also take your black permanent marker after your um, paint is dry and you could decorate and use different shapes and patterns inside each of the shapes to get something similar to this. So you can see there's different patterns and shapes and designs drawn on inside of each shape. So you could do something like that as well. All right, so you would continue painting each section until your painting is done and that you're left with a finished project like this. So now that I have shown you how to create your picture and we have a finished product right here, I am going to turn the camera back around. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Arts for Life Virtual Studio. I hope that you enjoyed creating with me today. Here is my finished watercolor gem painting. Yours may look different than mine, but however yours looks, it's wonderful. If you want to show us what you made today, please post a picture in the comments below. And remember, art is for everyone. Thank you.